with Groudon, Kyogre, Shiftry, uh, Kangaskhan, Thunderous, and Cresselia. So we have two pretty interesting teams on both sides. Um, Andy's team is pretty standard, double primal, you know, Kang, Crest, Thunderous, mm -hmm. but then there's a Shiftry on there. Um, Shiftry is something we haven't seen a whole lot of this year. It gets Chlorophyll, um, it's a dark type, it's grass type, um, it likes to go fast, it gets fake out. Um, or support options, maybe? Yeah, yeah it, it does get Tailwind. Um, okay. Tailwind is an option. Um, That's interesting. I never really uh, experimented with shift rates. Yeah, so. it's not the most common thing. Yeah. Uh, from from Darv over here, uh, we see uh, Groudon Kyurem White, um, which is a pretty strong combo. Um, this is this is a team that looks to be based off of um team that did well at the Anaheim Regionals. I uh, got second and top 16 from uh, oh, okay. Salamanis and I believe Eeks. Um, the, it's, it's based on Gravity, Trick Room, Meow Stick. Um, gravity's, gravity spamming Blizzard with Kyurem. Uh, gravity Blades under Trick Room with Groudon. Yeah, that, that sounds like a really powerful combo. Yeah, definitely. Already. Just uh, throwing out as many spread moves as yeah. you can. Um, we get to see here um, Andy leading with the Shiftry Groudon. Uh, and Brad leading with his Mystic Kangas kind of thing. Yeah. Definitely potential for fake out from both of uh, Brad's Pokemon. Yeah, and, definitely. Um, from Brad here, uh, I probably wouldn't expect the fake out from Mystic. I would mo most likely expect it from the Kangas Um mm -hmm. Interesting thing here is that the the Shiftry does have a faster fake out than Kangas Oh, um, right, because of the sun? Yeah, yeah, yeah because it gets the. Uh, Chlorophyll sun moves here. Um, also throws a, a potential Oko on the Meowstic if, it ha if, it, if it's carrying knockoff. Okay. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, Kangaskhan threatens an Oko back on the shift tree with like a double edge. Or... Right. It's it's pretty frail. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a pre it's a pretty frail Pokemon. It gets a few support options. So it's pretty good that we're seeing a game one get to have a decent idea of of what it's doing on his team. And yeah, well, kind of what to expect in these next two games. Yeah, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Andy try, or not Andy, uh, Brad trying to set up Trick Room here with his Meowstic mm -hmm. as opposed to Gravity right away. Um, he probably wants to get up Trick Room so that then he can he can sort of sack Kangaskhan and get off some damage, um, and then and then, and then getting Groudon under Trick Room and start going uh, for uh, yeah. Precipice Blades at that point. And de definitely trapping the Shift Tree under Trick Room uh, works yeah. against uh, uh, Andy's strategy. Yep. Fake Out going into that Kangaskhan, uh, not opting to Mega Evolve here, going for Inner Focus Fake Out into that Groudon there, preventing it from moving Trick Room going up for um, for Brad's side here. Yeah, very good turn there for Brad. Um, Andy did not did not read the Kangaskhan to be Inner Focus. Uh, inner Focus has definitely picked up a lot more use this year mm -hmm. um, as opposed to previous years. Um, there's a lot more random fake outs in the format um, because fake out is so good at, at getting uh, momentum in your favor yeah. for, your, for your big Ubers. Um, as you saw there, he tried to fake out the Kangaskhan, probably tried to fire off Presbus Blades, Eruption, something like that, trying to KO both Pokemon almost. Mm -hmm. um, Meowstic there does set up Trick Room successfully too. Um, Groudon, or Kangaskhan rather, uh, not 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 Mega Evolving is key. Uh, if it's Jolly, uh, it's it could be Speed Tying with a Groudon now. Oh. Um, if it's if it's like a slow Kangaskhan, uh, it just comes down to the speed tier. Um, so so it, it is base 90 for for this turn still and still right. being base 100. So we'll get to see um, uh, how speed plays into this turn as uh, Kangaskhan Mega Evolves here. Um, gonna see if it decides to go for a shift or a grout on here. Uh, safeguard coming up from Meowstic, um, trying to prevent any possible uh, uh, status moves from the shift tree. Uh, Precipice Blades avoids the uh, Meowstic there, st gets enough damage on the Kangaskhan. A critical hit, not enough to pick up a knockout though. Uh, double Edge gonna go right into the shift tree, um, right through its focus sash, and uh, it's gonna be uh, KOing itself in return here. Yeah, definitely. Um, that turn worked out uh, favorably for Brad in nearly every way. Um, so uh, the miss on the on is good because uh, he can still set up gravity. Um, right. And the the crit on the Kangaskhan actually played into his favor. Um, the crit put him put him in, into range so that then uh, uh, his own double edge would would KO him. Yeah. Um, giving him the free switch into 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 Groudon here. Um, yeah, we'll get to see if uh, Brad decides to make that play, and he does, as uh, we also see uh, Andy with uh, Kangaskhan coming in. So uh, again, a uh, potential for fake out here once again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty good turn here. Uh, it'll, Kangaskhan coming in is pretty ideal for Andy. Um, being able to uh, t to reset the fake out pressure here, um, mm -hmm. he can he can opt to read the protect on the ground on, which is fairly obvious, um, and try to fake out the the Meowstic and pick up a KO. Before it's able to set up gravity, right? Um, 
likely what Aunt, what Brad has in the back is going to be either is it's probably going to be the uh, the Kurum. Uh, it probably wouldn't be Mawile given that given that Kang's kind of mega evolved. Um, yeah. Um, and uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Um, we could see. Um, we could see the Smeargle in the back potentially, um, but I would probably expect to see the Kyurem. Um, Trickroom here, I believe, has taken just one turn. Yeah, um, it's only one turn so yeah, far. Yeah, just, just one turn of Trickroom, which isn't playing well for Brad because the, the Kyurem on these teams is uh, typically Scarf, so that you can just mm -hmm. uh, Gravity Blizzard away teams with like with four Ice Weaknesses, which aren't all that uncommon. And we'll, we'll see if, um, if Kyurem has a chance to be under Trick Room here. Um, Kangaskhan Mega Evolving uh, right now. Protect coming out from um, Brad's side there. Um, not wanting to take any potential uh, Precipice Blades. Fake Out going right into that uh, Meow Stick there. Um, gonna do a decent amount of damage as we see a Precipice Blades coming out from uh, Andy's side. Gonna be able to connect this time. Um, just enough to pick up the knockout. Another critical hit. Onto that meow stick. Yeah, uh, not, not sure how much that mattered. Um, it definitely didn't. It definitely wouldn't have mattered if he would have hit his first one, as we do see uh, Kyurem as his Pokemon in the back. Right. And uh, p possibly working against him now, since uh, under Trick Room and potential for Scarf, maybe. Yeah, very much a, a, a potential for Scarf. This is turn three of Trick Room, um, so not looking the best for Brad here. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to keep Meowstic around for another turn. Turn up, uh, potentially swagger his own Groudon under under Trick Room um, with the with the uh, safeguard up. Yeah. Um, probably would have been that. Probably would have been ideal for him. Um, but yeah, uh, we see Sucker Punch going right into that Curium slot, um, doing a decent amount of damage. Uh, Precipice Blades gonna connect uh, with both of Andy's Pokemon. Um, not enough to pick up a knockout onto that Groudon. Uh, Fire Punch going right into that Curium slot, and it's going to do quite a lot of damage. Yeah. And that, that thing is down uh, without even doing anything. Yeah, that was a pretty smart turn there from Andy. Um, I'm assuming he has uh, Kyogre in the back here, so his plan was, was just to eliminate Curium. Um, probably, he could probably just... He, like, he could afford to sack both Pokemon here. Um, oh, really? Yeah, as he's, as it looks like that's what he's doing. Yeah, um, Sucker Punch going into that Groudon. Um, expecting a double KO, possibly. Um, and Precipice Blaze does connect with both of Andy's Pokemon, and we'll get to see what he has in the back. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's the Kyogre, this should be game over. Um, Trick Room's going to run out soon. Um, if it's Cresselia or Thunderous, well, we definitely still, still uh, have a game here. Yeah. Trick Room does does revert here, um, so if it's if it's a fast Kyogre as as we do see it coming out, um, the fast Kyogre will definitely uh, clean up this game. Assum yeah. Assuming of course that it, that it, that it doesn't decide to miss every single attack. Yeah, <laughs> as we've seen on stream before already. I mean, it could have a potential Water Spout maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you could have a Water Spout Scald. Um, they're, they're definitely accurate options for, for Kyogre that are viable. Let's see Water Spout coming out. Yeah, there it is. Um, so, Andy will be closing out uh, Game 1, uh, taking it 1-0. Mm -hmm. um, it was interesting. It seemed like the, the momentum shifted um, kind of towards the middle of the game. I think it was mm -hmm. the, I think it might have been the Meowstic crit. Yeah, yeah, the Meowstic, well, Meowstic going down before being able to set up gravity, or like, I think I think what he was going for there was was trying to uh, swagger himself under Trick Room, so that then so then uh, uh, his own Groudon could could KO Andy's Groudon and Andy's um, and Andy's Kangaskhan in, in one hit. Oh, okay. And, instead of having to take two, uh, would have given him more 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 momentum in that case. Um, could have could have given him a chance to um, to also get in Kyurem out of Trick Room mm -hmm. and go for an attack onto the the uh, Kyogre in the back with that. Yeah, and the Scarf Pokemon definitely not something you want to yeah. be using it under Trick Room not quite, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we do see um, Team Preview once again here. Um, do you think do you think Molile would help out at all? Do you think any of I, other I don't Brad's know. Pokemon I don't would know help that out? Brad can do too much against this. Um, the Molile isn't really going to help him much. Uh, the one thing that might be able to save him is if he is if he can position the game in such a way that um, that if his Smeargle is slow and underspeeds Primals, mm -hmm. if he can get up Trick Room um, and then and then put them to sleep under Trick Room and, and keep on spamming uh, Precipice Blades, then that would probably be 
a way that, that he could win. Um, yeah, that the Schmeargle was one thing we didn't see from Brad last game. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. interesting. I think I think that would be a smart adjustment. I don't think Kiram does a whole lot for this matchup. Um, yeah. It does well against the the Thunderous that Andy didn't bring. Um, it doesn't. Kiram doesn't fare like it does. It, it does decently against Groudon. Um, yeah. Being Scarf, it's not going to pick up any any Elkos on it. I don't believe. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't fare well against Kyogre, and, and it's high. Uh, Special defense. Kyogre mm. still can't do much in return, but Kyurem's likely doing even less. Right, it has those, uh, in a way, it has access to like Ice Beam, Draco, stuff yeah. like that. Earth it's, Power. It gets, um. It's mostly special moves. It's not yeah. going to really do a whole lot to uh, to the Kyogre there. Yeah. It gets a uh, Fusion Flare as well, which is a little bit more of a niche option. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't always see that on it. Yeah. It's, it's quote unquote signature move or whatever, but, um. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's got a cool uh, uh, animation too. So yeah, I thought the really animations, cool. the animations in Gen Six are top notch. Fantastic, fantastic. Good job, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> As we do see uh, Kangaskhan uh, Groudon once again from uh, Andy. As we see uh, Meowstic Kiram a lead from, yeah. from Brad. Interestingly, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm I'm a fan of the lead from Andy's side. I'm not a fan of this lead from Brad's side. Um, Brad's lead here, um, unless he has quick guard on his Meowstic, um, he's very uh, sus susceptible to just uh, to just have it ha having Kyurem uh, double targeted here and just taken right out, um, like what, it, like it was last game. With a, like a fake out fire punch combo. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Fake, because fake out's going to be doing roughly the same damage as right uh, sucker punch did. Um, so uh, fake out fire punch would likely would at the very least put it into uh, sucker punch range. Um, and Kiram wouldn't be moving this turn. If if Meowstic does carry Quick Guard, uh, that could change things up a little bit. Yeah. Um, but this is not looking too favorable for Brad. Maybe some possible switch outs for Brad. Yeah. I could see something like a Trick Room and switching into Groudon working pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I like I, I, I could see that being a good play, especially if he, if he's if he's predicting him to go for the uh, Fire Punch for the double. Yeah. Yeah. Double target. Yeah, if he's predicting him to go for the fire punch, he could like Groudon's a pretty safe switch at that point. It won't take, I won't take too much damage from from fire punch fake out. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some there's some counterplay for Brad, but uh, it's not looking great. Yeah, as we do see, uh, Kang's got Mega Evolving. No switches from Brad's side, so we'll get to see how he makes this play. Fake out going into the uh, carry room slot. Um, doing a decent chunk of damage there. Uh, Going to prevent that from moving there. Uh, Precipice Blade's actually coming in for Andy here. I'm um, gonna see how much damage that does. Not enough to pick up the knockout on uh, Kyrim. And he sets up the Trick Room here. Maybe anticipating uh, getting KO'd? Yeah, he was probably anticipating getting KO'd. Um, there's, a, there, there's a little bit of uh, mental gains on both sides there. Um, I think Andy saw the the uh, potential Groudon switch in, and so instead of, of going for Fire Punch, went for uh, Precipice Blades. Um, so that was that was definitely a good move on his end. Um, yeah. I think at this point the game is pretty bleak for Brad. Um, Kyurem is in, in Sucker Punch range. Um, Meowstic has to hope to dodge a Precipice Blades, uh, yeah. set up Safeguard, and then swagger his own Groudon at this point. Yeah. Um, I don't see too many other ways for Brad to get enough momentum to win the game. Because Andy still has, has yet to take any damage. Yeah, it, it seems like a, a tough turn of events here. The, the board position definitely looks in, uh, in Andy's favor right now. Yeah, Andy's definitely in a, in a pretty commanding position here. Surprisingly taking quite long to pick his moves. Yeah. Um, but we do see the Swagger go out into the opposing ground. I'm maybe yeah. trying to get some outs <laughs> here. Uh, gonna raise its attack stat here. Yeah, Swagger's always a decent out. Yeah, uh, Groudon hitting itself in confusion! Oh my gosh, return coming from Kangaskhan here. Gonna go right into that, uh, Meowstic slot, and... Wow, all of a Brad, sudden... Brad might have found himself a way out of it. Yeah, uh, Kyrim going for the Blizzard, uh, connecting with both Pokémon. Connecting both with both of the Blizzards and Sun, and suddenly oh, wow. Brad is in a very good position. Wow. Uh, incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty incredible. Swagger is always your out against basically everything. Um, the, the power of one Swagger. Yeah, one, right yeah, one Swagger completely turns the game around. Um, both of uh, both of Andy's Pokemon are now in uh, pre precipice range. Um, the Blizzard hitting both of them in Sun was very, very big. Yeah. Because um, now they're they're both in range. Uh, Kiram can pr can switch out here pretty freely, possibly into something like a Mawile. Um, 
I, I would assume that if he didn't lead the Kangaskhan, that he probably has has the Mawile sitting in the back. Yeah. Um, might see Smeargle come in. Smeargle coming in would be probably ideal, assuming that he's able to pick up a double KO this turn. Right. Uh, he could put um, put Kyogre to sleep. Um, I don't see him having much of a way to stop Kyogre otherwise. Yeah. Uh, we do see a switch out into the Thunderous. Uh, Sucker Punch is going to be able to pick up the knockout, though, on that Kyrim. Um, and we get to see what this uh, Groudon opts for. Precipice Blades going into Andy's side. Uh, only going to hit that Kangaskhan, though. Yeah, gravity um, is not up right now. Yeah, gravity not uh, not able to get that up in time. Uh, does pick out the knockout on Kang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, n now we we have to wait and see what he has in the back. Kangaskhan. <laughs> Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's honestly not the, not the worst thing to have in the back here. Um, assuming that... Andy's last is going to be Kyogre. Um, mm -hmm. This is still a pretty good spot for him. Um, fake out onto the Thunderous and Precipice Blades would um, would be pretty safe. If he wants to read the Groudon Protect, he could also try to Fire Punch the Thunderous. Um, yeah. I think Brad is in a more commanding position here, um, as long as he can keep Kangaskhan healthy. Because um, if, if Kangaskhan is healthy, he might be able to beat the, uh, the, the assumed Kyogre in the back. Right. So we do see uh, no switching from either side, uh, from uh, Andy's side there. Um, Kang's got Mega Evolving here. We're gonna see uh, which Pokemon it targets. Fake Out going into the Thunderous. Um, does almost half, maybe uh, indicating a, a more offensive uh, Thunderous. Um, Precipice Blades avoids uh, Andy's Groudon. And he connects with uh, both of his uh, targets there, wow. Yeah, pretty bad turn there for Red. Uh, fake out doing a lot is, and Thunderous' uh, 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 HP stat indicate that it's pretty offensive. Yeah. Um, and Groudon, Groudon missing that uh, Precipice Blades was very crucial. Um, now, I don't see much of a way that um, that uh, Brad is going to be able to out damage the, uh, the Kyogre in the back at this point. Right. Um, Th Kangaskhan is probably going to have to eat a uh, Thunder Wave here, I would assume. Um, yeah. And he's going to have to hit another uh, pre <laughs> Precipice Blade, likely. Yeah. So we do see Andy's Groudon opting to protect Sucker Punch into the Thunderous, but it's not going to be able to uh, succeed because he goes for the Thunder Wave. Uh, going to paralyze Kangaskhan here. Fire Punch does go into the Thunderous, though. Being, uh, able to read that and take it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we probably saw Sucker Punch go going into Groudon there, oh, trying Groudon. to yeah. trying to pick up a KO. I oh. don't I don't know that it actually would have KO'd. We also see uh, Trick Room expiring this turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Trick Room expiring is bad. Um, I'm assuming that, that that this Kyogre is is fast based on its uh, uh its HP stat. Yeah. Um, so we can probably fire off a Water Spout uh, like we saw in the last game, uh, pretty pretty easily, on uh, KO both of Brad's Pokemon. Um. He has to sort of hope um, that he can he can protect his. Uh, I don't really see how much of anyhow. Um, he has to yeah. he has to protect his Groudon, get off some, some sucker punch crits, uh, have some misses happen here and there. It's just not looking very good for Brad. Yeah. I, I do you feel like at this point uh, would Andy just have to not click Water Spout? I'm pretty sure Andy just has to not click Water Spout for, <laughs> for Brad to win. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's I don't think there's very much counterplay for Water Spout. Yeah. It's just the match is forfeited. All right. Well. Good games from both, yep. uh, Andy and Brad. Yeah. Um, the shifter came out game one. Uh, did not do much of anything, unfortunately. But, yeah. Well. Uh, well, we might see it later. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. We might be seeing it in a uh, uh, top cut tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. pretty exciting. As Andy is now 4-0. 4-0, oh. oh, um, yeah. in, in a very good position to make top cut. Um, four uh, four and twos are, are going to be in top cut tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um. So definitely in a good position to to be, to be making cut at this point. Yeah. Uh, one more win gu guarantees him it, and even if he drops the next two, he, depending on his uh, resistance, he could be in a pretty decent spot to make cut. So. Yeah, definitely. So um, do you think uh, do you think Brad could have maybe like played differently somehow? Um, I think Brad. I th I don't. I don't think that. The, the Kyurem was very good in that matchup. Yeah. I think he he really tried to force the Kyurem where he really needed to play harder for Trick Room um, because he knew that uh, that uh, that his Groudon was slower mm -hmm. um, and he he knew that um, that 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 Andy's Kyogre is fast. So basically he he had to play for a, a end game in which Kyogre is either is that either Trick Room is up against Kyogre or 
or Kyogre is like is like asleep via uh, Smeargle, obviously. Um, yeah. So so Smeargle might have been like would have yeah. been the better play. Yeah, I actually that. think uh, late game late game Smeargle using the hard eye tricker mode probably would have been the play there. Yeah, going for going for those dark voids and mm -hmm. trying to get moody boost potentially. Yeah, yeah, moody boost can always can always swing a game in your favor. So yeah, never know. All right, so we'll be back in a couple minutes with uh, with an interview with Andy. Yeah, so stay so, tuned. See you then.